Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the April Snacku Box. I've actually been sitting on this for maybe about a week. I've just been really, really busy lately, so I do apologize for that for people who kind of look for the video to be up like immediately and all that jazz. But it's been a rough week. Um, I was driving home and like it's it's rainy outside and I'm like, I'm tired from the week. What will kind of perk me up? Snacku could perk me up, I'm hoping. Hoping. I mean, I don't think I've had a Snacku box where I was like, yeah, that was a miss. I mean, it's all been at least decent. There have been at least a few good things. All right, so let me show you the inside of the box for this month. That is the April box inside. So your little sneak peek into it. So um, they did a similar theme last April, Sakura, which has to do with cherry blossoms. So a nice, very pretty piece of artwork. Always have that. All right, so this month, Discover Japan's Spring Sakura Cherry Blossom Culture. From late March to April, the country's iconic cherry blossoms capture the attention of visitors and locals alike as the beautiful pink flowers blanket the country in soft, colorful splendor. There are dozens of different cherry blossom trees, all of which bloom for just a couple of days in the spring. This extremely short yet beautiful blossoming of the sakura perfectly represents an aspect of Japanese culture called mono no aware, Awar, I hope I'm saying it right, or the appreciation for the impermanence and transience of things. The seasonal spectacle is celebrated with hanami, um, cherry blossom viewing parties under the trees. Uh, and apparently, from what I understand, uh, the, during the cherry blossoms, it's kind of like a big time for people to kind of uh, have new beginnings. That goes with the whole impermanence thing, like starting a new job or like starting something new in life, whatever. But that's just my understanding from it. So um, I'll give you a quick look if you want to pause and know ahead of time what we're getting into. But this is what we will be doing. Okay, let's jump into it. I'm excited because I remember this box from last year. They also did Sakura as the um, as the theme. And I remember it being pretty dang good. And I was like, what is this cherry blossom flavor going to be? Okay, so the first thing I've pulled out is... Bushi or Bushi Cherry Blossom. Da -da. That is what it is. Okay. Uh, Kobe Fugetsudo is one of the most famous premium Japanese snack makers and has been making Japanese snacks for over 120 years in the cosmopolitan city of Kobe. These Bushis are made with a pillowy, a pillowy sakura infused puff pastry. Sandw sandwiching sakura and apple cream filling. The snack maker describes these buchi buns as a masterpiece of sweet flavor born in Kobe. We couldn't agree more. So there was something similar to this, I believe, with the apple inside, the, with the sakura and the apple inside for last year. Um, by the way, I'm sure while I was reading that, you heard my cat yell, Chloe, she's, you may end up hearing that a few more times. She's in one of these moods where she wants something, but she doesn't know what she wants. She's been fed. I played with her. I rubbed her tummy. I rubbed her head. It's hard to know. Cats, you know? Love them, but they're very hard to please. Anyway, so I had something kind of like this last year, and I'm assuming that it'll be good as well, because I remember that one being good. Um, usually these, when they show up, they're really soft. Uh, this is a little hard on the outside, actually. Maybe that's because I've had the box for about a week. So that could be my fault, but look at that like nice pink cream in there. Oh, it smells kind of, I can smell the apple because it's a little bit fruity. It's a little floral in, in the smell, but it's it's got like a nice kind of like low level sweetness coming off it at the same time. It smells good. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit like almost like a crust on the outside. It's a little tough, but once you get past that, it is relatively um, soft on the inside. I can definitely taste the apple, but it's got like a fl floral note, like an actual kind of like fruit, kind of like a cherry, and then the apple coming in. It's very light, which goes along with the texture being like fluffy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's tasty. See, I like these snacks they put in that are, like, cakey, you know? Like, and it's always crazy to me because I feel like 
in the United States, when they're like packaged cake snacks, kind of like that, they're never as soft or as like um, fluffy as the ones I've gotten from Japan, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. But, you know, I figured someone would have been able to get something similar. All right, next, let's switch gears a little bit. I'm not going to do that one because it's kind of really broken. Um, one of my favorites, Senbai. If you've been watching my unboxings, you know I love me some Senbai. So let's do one of these. It's Zarame Senbai. Looks like it might have some, like, sugar. I don't know if you can really see it. Sorry for the glare, but looks like it's got, like, some sugar coating it. Uh, double baked soy sauce glazed senbai topped with rock sugar. There you go. Yes, rock sugar. When's the last time I had rock sugar in my life? Can't remember. I'm getting it now, though. So, here we go. Pure, unadulterated senbai. Yep. It smells like senbai. You can definitely get that nice tanginess of the soy sauce. It smells a little bit salty. Smells a little bit sweet at the same time and kind of fried. Mmm. Has a very nice crunch on that. Mm hmm. So, these are some of my favorite types of Sambai. The ones where you, know, you got a decent soy sauce going on, you got a nice saltiness, but you also have a nice sweetness to go along with it. For me, though, this particular one is a little higher on the sweetness than I typically like. I kind of feel like the rock sugar is overtaking the flavors of the um, the soy sauce. Yeah. So with these typically, like I said, like I love these types, but with those, I like the sugar to be a lot lower and let the soy sauce kind of shine way more than that sweetness. I kind of like it to just be more of just like a little underlying sweetness there. It's good though. What I might actually do when I finish that off and when I have my other one is kind of like knock some of that sugar off since so it's just kind of like caked on the outside. That's one way to take care of that. And all right, let's jump to this. I don't know what this is. What is this? I think I might know what this is, so maybe I should actually... I'm going to have to wait on that one, because I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. Okay, here we go. I do that. Nope, that one's kind of broken. So I'll get one that's less broken. Oh, no, they're both broken, but let's see what I can do. Anyway, going to do Sakura Tenohira. This is very pretty packaging, by the way. Look at that. It's very pretty packaging. Okay, so a seasonal snack infused with cherry blossoms made by a local snack shop in the Ginza district of Tokyo. The Sakura petal-shaped cookie is filled with a slight cherry blossom flavored cream. Be sure to enjoy this with a nice cup of tea. I actually do drink tea from time to time. It's been a while, but I do enjoy some nice teas. Let me get in here. Unfortunately, you're not with this you're not really going to be able to see how it's like petal shaped because this is one got pretty broken. Um, well, I mean, yeah, you'll be able to see kind of see, but there's all these pieces in there. Cause see, it's like all broken on that side, but there you go. See, there you go. It's like nice pink looking. I, yeah, I smell that. It's like a little bit floral. It's a little bit cherry ish. It smells sweet. You can smell like that cream kind of like, um, like a buttercream. Mmm. Yeah, I like this one. The cream, like that cream on the inside, really stands out. You get a lot of flavor from that. A lot of creaminess. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like that, that cherry blossom flavor with a little bit of floral, a little bit of fruit to it. Very, very light. Nice, creamy sweetness. A little bit of vanilla in there. And then just a little bit of a crunch from the cookie outside. Yeah. I dig it. That's a good one. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Next. Oh, here's more Senbai. Score. Oh, and they gave me three of them. Double score. 
All right, so jumping back to Senbai, this is a Bakauke Sesame Cracker. Bakauke. Uh, these soy sauce rice crackers are twice toasted and embedded with baked black sesame seeds. Yes. So I've had black sesame seeds from this box, I think, once in a Senbai, and those were some of my favorite snacks ever. So maybe this will repeat kind of concave on that side. It looks so good. Oh, God, it smells so good. So it's, when they say twice baked, it actually smells like it's kind of fried, which is such a great smell, such a great taste. But you're like, I don't think this is good for me. <laughs> but, um, the yeah, the soy is a nice, nice level. There is a sweetness in the smell, but it's kind of low and salty. Yeah. And it definitely tastes like it's fried. And that's such a wonderful flavor with a senbai like this. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I really taste the sesame so much. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can really pick out the sesame so much. But that tastes awesome. That's basically what I wanted out of the other senbai. You know, there is that sweetness there, but it's just kind of underlying, mainly getting that really nice tang from the soy and like a nice saltiness and that extra fried aspect that the other one didn't taste as much fried. I guess it's because it's like double toasted. As I said, toasted or baked. Mm, toasted. Twice toasted. Yes. That one's awesome. Uh, currently, that's my favorite thing in this box. Not like in my life or in the world. <laughs> But in this box, this is my fave. It's pretty awesome. Okay, next. Let's, yeah, let me hit this one real quick. I know my cat's, my cat may show up in the video, by the way. She's done it before. Not often. So here we have a Sakura Frosted Cake. Really interested in this one. Also, nice, pretty packaging. Uh, this delicious mini pie is made by Nakayama, a boutique Tokyo confectionery. That's only available this time of year. The pie crust dough is kneaded together with salted sakura leaves, and the chocolate frosting is infused with dried cherry blossom flowers. Chloe, you can come up here. She's milling around. She doesn't know what to do. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm very interested with this one because there's I don't think we've had anything like this in in a um snacku. This is a first. Alright. There you go. It's like a, it's kind of it looks like a little pie, you know. Oh man. So like the sakura of it is even more fruity than the smell of all the other ones. Like there's that floral there and there's that fruitiness, but it's like this one's even fruitier. It smells um, more sugary, sweeter than the other ones. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. So that sakura flavor is way more pronounced, and it definitely has like a little bit of like a maraschino cherry flavor to it. But the pastry itself tastes kind of like almond, and I like it. Mm. I'm trying not to make too much of a mess, but here you go. I mean, I thought there was going to be like a filling to it, or it's not. But honestly, I'm fine with that. It tastes really good. It's like nice and like kind of flaky. It's just like a really good, tasty, like easy to, to bite through cookie kind of. That's awesome. Mm. And it is more sweetness than the other sweet snacks that we've had in this one. But it's not too much. It's still not too much. And that's one of the great things about these Japanese snacks that I've been experiencing is that with American snacks, they tend to be like really um really sweet like overly sweet and with the japanese snacks like they're sweet but it's it's a much lower level than in the united states and that's more my speed it used to not be when i was much younger you know i was very used to like super sugary and i loved it and then as i just got older my palate changed and i'm like i think i want less sweetness so um i also am into vegetables now i used to hate vegetables as a kid but I will eat vegetables, broccoli and green beans and all that jazz. I'm a fan. Okay, moving on. Oh, something that 
I've not experienced in a snacku yet, I don't think. Pokey. Or Pocky. People say Pocky, Pokey, whatever. So, the most... Uh, this is Strawberry Pokey. Uh, the most recognizable Japanese pretzel stick snack makes its return with this iconic pink strawberry flavor. I mean... I think when they say pretzel, I think it's kind of like more like cookie, I think. We'll find out. I mean, I know a lot. I've seen a lot of these, like, even in American grocery stores. Like, you can get these pretty easily. So, they are available. So, um, but I've not, I've just not had any. So, there you can see. Oh, my, well, it smells very strawberry. Yeah. It's kind of just like. A flavorless cracker with the the flavor on the end like this like chocolate white chocolate or yogurt type coating and you're just tasting that flavor like the the uh the pretzel or the crackers i kind of view it is is more just the vehicle to get the flavor to you um that's good and it reminds me that one of the great things about these japanese snacks that i've tried is whenever they're strawberry they nail strawberry flavor. Like, it actually tastes like strawberry. Whereas in the United States, I feel like it usually tastes kind of like art, it, like artificial and chemical-y. So I'm finding I just prefer strawberry flavor from Japanese snacks. There's something about how they're doing it. That's, a, that's actually pretty tasty right there. Mm, making me contemplate picking some up when I go to the grocery next. You know, just other flavors, because I know I've seen, like, chocolate, vanilla, stuff like that. So, those would be fun. All right, next. I don't know which what this one is. I, oh, I'm going to make a guess. I think this might be Spring Senbai. Whoa. Sorry. That was probably loud. Okay, so I think this is Spring Senbai, but I'm going to open it first just to verify. It's got to be. It's got to be. I'm going to... Say I'm gonna open it, but am I gonna be able? Okay, here we go. I'm not doing it in a graceful way, which is okay. It's okay. I don't always have to be graceful. Okay, here we go. This is just literally like a big old tray. I mean, I want to be able to like hold it up for you, so you can kind of see it. But I don't want it going everywhere. It's really pretty. Yeah. So spring senbai. I'm assuming all the senbai kind of tastes the same, but it's just like colored festively so it was like senbai a little bit of sweetness a little soy sauce the as opposed to the other senbai the smells on this are way dialed down so you just have more of like a like a cereal flavor to them there's a lot less soy sauce aspect to it there's a lot less sweetness there's a lot less tang a lot less um saltiness these are not that flavorful, to be honest. They don't taste bad, but they just taste kind of bland, to be honest. There's a little bit of flavor there. And I do feel like there's there's slight variations in the flavors as I go from like different color to different color. But I can't tell what that is. Like, look at this one. Like, this one has, like, stuff sprinkled on it. The other ones don't. Oh. Oh. That one's, like, really tangy, actually. It's almost like it's, like, pickled. Like, there's vinegar on it or something. That was kind of interesting. I like that one. Just because it's, like, a shock to my, to my palate. Oh, does this one have matcha on it? This one has matcha. No. It's just like a green sugar. That was pretty sweet. I'm not a big fan of these. Those are kind of, yeah. I mean, it's senbai, but it's not like really tasty senbai. Like I said, it's a little flavorless. Real low on the flavor. So not a huge fan. But the rest of this box has been pretty good. You know, there's my extra pokey. Okay. I can now figure out what this thing is. It is what I suspected it was. This is the thing earlier on I was like, I think I know what this is. I don't know. I'm going to let it go for now. There we go. Mm. So this is a Sakura chocolate crepe. 
a very thin baked crepe roll crepe roll dipped in cherry blossom chocolate perfect with a nice cup of tea so when they say the cherry blossom chocolate i know it's like cherry blossom flavoring and i assume it's white chocolate i mean it's gotta be based off the coloration see cherry blossom chocolate there you go yep smells like white chocolate with a little bit of that cherry blossom note smells relatively sweet it's like hollow on the inside same i don't know if you can like see yeah it's like hollow in there i like how like delicate and crispy it is you can tell that that's really been like layered and actually you know i think i've said it on here before i'm not a big fan of white chocolate but for some reason a few of the snacks they throw in here that have white chocolate are good white like it's good i actually enjoy it and i think partially with that one it's because of that sakura flavor that's thrown in there so it's pretty solid i like it but that's that's like a snack that's like just really light it's kind of like you're eating a snack but there's not a whole lot of substance to it it's just kind of like there but not there i don't know if that makes sense it's super light like it's not a heavy snack so okay second to last one right now this is porinky puff i don't i don't know i'm assuming it's like a corn puff type deal uh lightly seasoned puffed sweet corn snacks of course that's it on the description Let's see if i can open it from the top oh i can instead of having to rip it all the way down all right these look like weird they look like giant checks kind of or crispix cereal checks or crispix same type thing they smell like corn <laughs> They smell slightly fried. So they actually almost have like a corn potato chip smell. A little saltiness. Yeah. So they're kind of like oddly sweet, in my opinion. I don't know if I like the corn flavor. Because... Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the big difference. Much like there's a difference in the strawberry flavors between the United States and Japan, I'm finding there is a difference in the corn flavors between the United States and Japan. And that is with corn flavors in the U.S., it tastes... You don't taste the corn as much. You know, like it's usually masked by things. With this, I feel like I taste a lot of corn, and it just kind of tastes like a salted, slightly sweet version of like dull canned uh, yellow corn, to be honest, which is kind of weird, especially when it's kind of like in a puffed type chip form. I wouldn't say I dislike it because I don't, but I don't particularly like it either. So this is kind of like weird middle stage. Okay, I'm a, eh, what I mean, I'll eat it. Once again, that's another light, like super light snack. So I'm all right. All right, let's close this out. This is our last one. This is Sakura Candy Box. Literally, it they, here, they it's a box. It's cute. Look at this. Look at the design on that. That's so nice. That's really cool. That's awesome. A uh, beautifully packaged Hanami candy made with real cherry blossoms. These are the prettiest candies you will ever eat. Okay. Well, let's put that to the test. Oh, look at, oh, oh, look at this. Look at the way this, this opens. Literally, it's like petal. Like, you can do one petal. I, I, I'm having a hard time doing it, but you can, oh, I was going to say you can do it one petal at a time, but on one of them, there's two petals. But you can basically, like, open it one petal at a time. Oh, that's so cool. And there's three of them just throughout. Oh, my gosh. These are pretty. I'm going to take it out of the packaging so you can see it better, because otherwise it's going to have a lot of glare. These are pretty so weird to say that about candy it's like this beautiful candy look at this look at the color oh my gosh look at this like first of all like look at the pink on that 
I don't I don't know if you can see it like as vividly as I can on my side because of the lighting and everything, but the pink on the end on the end is very pink. But look at that. Look at the detail. That's insane, man. It looks the same on the other side, but that's it just smells kind of sweet. Yeah. There's that sakura flavor. But once again, like even with a candy like this where you you think it's like it's like pure sugar basically. Somehow it doesn't taste like crazy sugary like a lot of American candies like this do. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm betting? I bet they don't use high fructose corn syrup because it has a very different taste. It's very clean. I feel like high fructose corn syrup has a kind of like muddied flavor to it. This is probably like actual like straight sugar. Okay. I think with this, I would like just a little bit more of that Sakura flavoring, but knowing that there's actual cherry blossoms in it is really cool. And like I said, like the craftsman craftsmanship of this is insane. Like it is, look at that again. That's beautiful. That's just, that's gorgeous. I mean, they're right. Like to think about how much time that probably t took to make that is crazy to me. Wow, and the packaging's so cool. So, all right, another successful snacku box. So let me go over what I really liked. Um, I do have to say, the only things in here, I, I like this box. I quite like this box overall. The only things I was like, I don't really need that anymore. Uh, the Spring Senbai, which we talked about, just kind of low flavor, and those Perinky Puff, those, uh, those corn puff things that I had just a little bit ago. They're like, eh. But everything else I thought was really good. Uh, I guess maybe the Pocky or Pokey would be closer to the bottom than the rest of these snacks because I thought they kind of like hit it out of the park a little bit more. My favorites, the Baka Uke Sesame Cracker, that Senbai with the black sesame in it. That was awesome. That was one of my favorites. Followed by that Sakura Frosted Cake. That thing was awesome. Um, as a reminder, that was it, the Sakura Frosted Cake. That thing is really good, really, really, really good. And then... Yeah, I'll just say, like, those are my favorites. Everything else was just, like, I quite li I, like, I like it, but it wasn't, like, whoa, blow me away. But, yeah, that, that Black Sesame Senbai and those Sakura Frosted Cakes, those are the big winners from this one. And I'm very excited for my wife to try those, and I'm very excited to eat more of them because that's the thing about the Snacku, the regular Snacku, not the tasting box size. You get extra stuff, and it's awesome. So, Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. I'm, I'm sorry it's been a long video. They usually are for this. But please hit the subscribe if you can for me, if you stuck with me this long. I really appreciate it. It literally takes you a second. I'm trying to grow the channel so I can do more videos, do more unboxings, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, some comments down here. We can talk about stuff, cherry blossoms, Japan, snacks, Japanese snacks, whatever you want. Thumbs-ups are cool. But until next time, keep it brutal.